come on, come on, come on, come on. Do we do do? Okay. Yeah, I remember these steam grates used to. I remember being stuck here for ages when I first played the game because I can never me memorize the pattern. To ah. Oh. Jeez Louise. Ugh. Fucking M. Night Shyamalan twist when this level gives us more grief and slippery climb. <laughs> yeah, but I do. Re it's all coming back to me now. I do remember struggling with those freaking steam grates. Because that. I think those steam grates go on for a quite some time and you have to be on point with memorizing the steam pattern. It wasn't that long at all, I'm just an idiot. It's the, it seems to be the reoccurring theme for most of this playthrough. It's like they do if some, like, freaking game analysis channels. Now you can say that the reoccurring themes present throughout this game is general dipshittery. Thank god that's the end of that. What level are we on next? Oh, here we go! Enbryo! Kick his ass. This is definitely the hardest boss of the game. I, I'd argue he's even harder than Cortex. Mainly because he's got a massive life bar and he has um, a very specific sort of. He's got a very easy pattern to remember, but I think it's just the jumping patterns of the green dudes that always throws me off with him. Yeah, when he took an action of the bit of I can never master this when he actually turns into freaking King Kong and not just, Oh god, I am fucking. Oh god. Yeah. Actually, no, I'd say Embryo and, and Cortex are on, on sort of par with the difficulty of each other. And I just realised there's only two more platforming levels after Embryo and then it's Cortex, so I think we might just do a, an extra long session and beat the game. I'm feeling cocky. I swear he jumped. There we go. Yeah, because when he turns into like the giant ape version of himself, you have to... Like the, the the sequencing of the bits of rubble that fall down are very, very, very random. And I remember I could never jump on him in time. At least the game's given me fully charged uh, Makawaku, so that's generous. It, I, think, I think the fact that we got from Slippery Climb so quickly, it, the game's rewarding us somewhat. Oh, fuck. Right. Oh, I didn't realize they actually stop after a while. Them, they do eventually stop. Okay. All these years, I didn't realize that the green ones actually do stop after a certain point. Now, oh, here he goes, he's gonna turn into friggin' Matrix 8. It's hit, jump. Oh. Oh, still a damage to be impressed. Okay, now that I know that the green things do stop after a while, then I might just do... Fuck, we might beat this boss a lot quicker than I thought. Just gotta take my time and show a little patience. Who knew that take that would be the inspiration to complete this game? <laughs> 
I'm going to save my final Aku Aku for the for when he turns into an A. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Okay, two levels and the final boss to go. The lab. Yeah. Actually, this is, oh shit, this is the final full level of the game, I just realized. Let's go for it. And I remember my friend from primary school used to, used to say to me, ah, oh, because um, he used to he made me so petrified of this level because he kept saying to me like, "Oh, you'll, you'll." I kept. He kept saying to me like, "The lab is one of the hardest levels of a game he'd ever played." Keep in mind we're like eight at this point. <laughs> um, and he was like, "Oh, you, like the lab," and he said he was stuck on the lab forever. And I was like, so I was when I got I was so nervous when I was a kid getting to the lab. I was like, "Oh shit, I'm never gonna complete this." And I think. Beat it rather quickly from memory, like in comparison to the levels like freaking slippery twine. Buddy, come here. Oh, or not. Phew. I knew that one of the series of boxes had a hidden TNT in this level, I just wasn't sure which one. Excuse moi, I apologize for the viewers, that was disgusting. Okay, the bonus round. Final ever to earn the bonus round of the game. Boom. How does one reach up there? No one knows. Okay, so it's in the original game, it's seven times until they break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Oh! That was a relatively straightforward one, and for some reason the game just. just I didn't press, you know, down to throw myself into the foreground. I swear the game just did that. It's like, no, this is the final one. You can't win it that easily. <laughs> Oh, I these guys. These are the hardest part of this level. These, these, these freaking toss spots. So they do that. I think I don't think you can defeat them. I think you just have to jump around them. I swear, like, I, I have this memory of you being able to sort of push them off the platforms. Oh, maybe just me. Just... Oh no, that's in um. So that's that's in Crash Two. I see a checkpoint, but watch on the corner. Oh, this dick, dick. Boom. Just checking. So 
I, like, I realise my camera, when it gets to 30 minutes, it automatically stops recording. So I'm just watching it. So I got one. Let's see if I can finish the level in 60 seconds. Or is it going to be like lights out again where we miss the end of the level? Oh shit. Oh crap. Whoop. Just watching the timer on the camera. Okay, I'm gonna reset the camera in ten. Do 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 do